I'm Robin Higgins, and this is the chemical equation of chlorophyll. So, as we can see here, we have chlorophyll, and it's a pretty complicated molecule, so let's break it down. Uh, and the first thing we're going to count is the number of carbons. So we don't actually have to count, but you can trust me. If we did, we'd find that we had 55 carbons. And the next thing we're going to do is count the number of hydrogens. So remember, when we're doing our chemical formula like this, we always go in a certain order. It always starts with carbon, and second is hydrogens. So if we counted all these up, we'd eventually get to 72 hydrogens, so it's a ton. And after these big guys, everything else is a little bit more rare. So next we're gonna do oxygen, and these we can kind of look at and count. So one, two, three, four, five oxygens. Nitrogen. Again, we can just look at these guys, one, two, three, four, in the ring. And last but not least, we have our single magnesium atom. So this is pretty much our complete formula. And remember that chlorophyll is a really important molecule because it's actually what plants use to trap light so they can engage in photosynthesis and get energy, which keeps Earth going. So I'm Robin Higgins, and this is the chemical equation for chlorophyll. Mm -hmm.